MPs this morning, there is huge international concern about the new variant, saying it could pose a substantial risk to public health. Our first report this hour is from our health correspondent, Catherine de Costa. The emergence of a new highly complex variant in Southern Africa has sounded alarm bells around the world. So far, most cases have been identified in one province of South Africa, where it appears the variant may be driving a new wave of infection. Early analysis show that this variant has a large number of mutations that require and will undergo further study. It will take a few weeks for us to understand what impact this variant has. The new variant was only identified four days ago. Genetic analysis shows it has twice the mutations of Delta, the dominant variant worldwide, including 30 changes to the spike protein, which the virus uses to enter human cells. We haven't got evidence that it's here yet. Um, we haven't identified in any of our genome sequencing. Um, we're now sequencing and giving results on more than 50,000 cases per week, a huge amount. But there is travel from South Africa across the globe, um, and there are many rising cases in South Africa at the moment. So we'll need to be very uh, aware and look very carefully at all of the data coming through. Current vaccines have been designed to target the spike protein from the original Wuhan strain. Some of the mutations in this new variant may mean the virus can spread more easily or make the vaccines less effective. But jabs still provide protection against other variants of concern and can be tweaked if needed. It's highly unlikely that they won't have any effect. Uh, that really would be a catastrophe. Um, but we may well see that the, uh, the protection that we get is, is to some degree reduced, particularly because there are so many mutations in the part of the S protein that, that, that many of the antibodies uh, bind to. So uh, I, I don't think we're likely to see that vaccines don't work at all. Flights to the UK have been suspended from six African countries till 4 a.m. on Sunday to allow time to set up quarantine hotels. The government hopes a new travel ban will delay the variant being brought into Britain. We're working quickly and we're working with a high degree of uncertainty. We are continuing to make assessments, including about those countries with strong travel links to South Africa. And we are working with our international partners, including South Africa and the European Union, to ensure an aligned response. But this variant is a reminder for all of us that this pandemic is far from over. Labour welcomed the travel restrictions, but said better distribution of vaccines to poorer nations was essential. Vaccines and new antiviral drugs are still our best defence. We'll have to wait two to three weeks for scientists to understand the risk this new variant may pose. Catherine de Costa, BBC News. Well, in the last hour or